Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profitation team. I am Sanjay. We are learning the upgraded version of WordPress widget development. This is our part 4. Inside this video session guys, we are going to save our widget data to database as well as render value to our admin layout. If I back to browser, now inside last video, this is the form that we have developed like title and description. So when we put any values, click on save button. So right now, it is not saving these values to our database. So what we want, we want that when we put any title or description inside these inputs while clicking on save button, it will save to our database. Back to code editor. Now as we had discussed inside previous lectures that is, to save data, we need to use update method. So what I will do, we are going to enable update method so let's say public function update. Now before using this update method, we need to see the syntax of using this method. Back to directory, go to WP visit, this is our project root, go to includes and if I search about class WP visit and WP it's visit and if I scroll this file to our editor so opening this file and inside this file if I search about update method so here we have got new instance as well as old instance so I'm going to copy these two variables go here and pasting here now by the help of this update method, we are going to save our title as well as description to our database. So close this file, back to our update method. So I'm going to declare an array. So let's say that instance equal to, right now this array is empty. So what I will do, let's say instance and as we know that here we have a title means a title name as well as a name with the description. So if I copy this title, go here, pasting it here and let's say that if not empty something, not empty and here inside this new instance, it is it means that we are getting the value. So inside this, let's say that we have some value inside this new instance. So after getting this value, now I'm going to use called strip tags. This is a PHP function which is used to remove all the tags what is available inside this title. Let's say that as we know that inside this title we need to pass a simple string value. But someone let's say that they pass about some HTML tags. So we want to remove or like discard all the tags from that text. So we need to use called strip tags function. Otherwise, we have to actually return about empty value. Now same, we need to do for our description instance variable. So go here, copy this key that is field name description. I'm going to here, pasting it here. Now same, we need to check that it's empty. And here let's say that if we have some value inside this new instance description, pasting it here and let's see that if we have some value then we are going to writing this value otherwise we have empty value again if we want to use called strip tags function here so let's say strip tags function passing it here so all what we have done we have get the new instance value storing inside this instance these are the keys we have used why because these are the names of our field names and finally we are going to return let's say instance variable all we have done now we have prepared our update method which is used to save our data to our database table so after saving this value it means that we are going to pass like title and description clicking on save button it is going to save all the data to our database table but while reloading this page the existing value will be lost so we want to render also the saved value from our database to these fields back to editor what i will do 
go here inside this form method and as we know that form method is able to actually render or create a admin panel layout. So let's say that title equal to let's say instance. This is the instance and as we know that we have two keys like title. So we are putting inside this title. Let's say that if not empty then we want the value otherwise empty value. Again same for the description. If not empty let's say instance. Here we have description key. So if suppose we have some value inside this description we want that value should return otherwise we will have an empty value. So all we are getting the save value inside this title description go inside this input type text we are going to add a value attribute and inside this we are going to use our PHP tag let's echo title it means that we are going to render our saved value saved value from our database to this input type text as well as if you go inside this text area what I will do I am going to remove this value putting it here and this time we have the key called description. So if we save this file back to browser reload this page and I think that we have some error again back to editor and error inside this file so hopefully if we will be able to find that so this is our update method and here actually I think that this will be the error reload this page now it's working fine go to footer 2 this is our widget let's say that we are going to save a title let's say online web tutor this channel provides the best WordPress solutions now these are the tags like title and description we are going to save inside our database table so click on save button and as we can see that value has been successfully saved if I reload this page now go to footer 2 now the same value what we have saved we are getting right here inside these boxes this is the use of instance what we have used right here so inside this video session guys we understood all about the update method it means that by the help of this we are saving our data as well as by using this instance variable we are populating all the values what we have saved right here from this update method. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.